Hello, Les from Thailand here. This is the third video of my four videos I was going to do about my two weeks holiday, first time in Pattaya, first time in Thailand. So if you haven't watched my other two videos, please do. Have a look, see what you think. Give it a thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. So this one, we've had our four days in Koh Samui. We've flown back to, to Pattaya and the intentions was to the following day was to go to Kosa Met for maybe two or three nights depending on how, how we liked it or whether we didn't. So the idea was in Patia we were going to find a girl that you liked and that you'd, you'd take to this Kosa Met which is an hour and a half, two hours away from, from um, Patia. So the idea is because Kosa uh, Met there's not many girly bars so the, the chances of getting fixed up with a girl in the bars at Cosmet is is very low. There are some available, but not like the choice that you have in in Pattaya. So we all went out to go and pick our girlfriends to take with us to to Cosmet the following day. Um, so one of my friends got chatting to this this lady, asking her to. If she'd like to go to course met course, they'll all say yes because it means they're going to have a, a few days income and so we were sat chatting at the bar and then she said oh my daughter's never been to course met before so she introduced her daughter to there's a group of four of us so we were all sat chatting and i liked her and her daughter was 22 years old and very attractive, very attractive young lady. So the Barry arranged to take the mother and I took the daughter. So as a mother and, and daughter came along to of course I met with us. Um, as I say, in one night you don't really have time to, to get to know them, to see whether it clicks. So we went to course I met the following day. All four of us were very happy because we all had nice girls and we, we had it all arranged. We had a, got off the speedboat at Koh Samet and it was a, a bank holiday weekend in Koh Samet, so Koh Samet was very full. So trying to find accommodation was very, very difficult. So we ended up staying in a, in a room above a shop on the main high street in Koh Samet. It wasn't very nice compared to what it was like in Koh Samui, but you make ends meet and you think, oh, okay, the, the rest of Koh Samet is beautiful. It is a beautiful tropical island, white beaches, warm seas, very, very nice. And we were there together with um, a group of us as well. So we all decided that we all gonna go eat together, drink together, party together. And the whole two or three days was meant to be a great experience but things started to go wrong as soon as we got to the island she was always on the phone always looking at the phone and she from being happy girl at the bar to being sad and I'm thinking well what's she sad for she doesn't want to be with me what's going on with her and I kept asking are you okay are you okay? yeah 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 I'm okay I'm, all, I'm okay but for the rest of the day she had a, a face like a wet weekend which is what I didn't want. Everybody else was having fun, everybody was laughing and joking, but she was, she was too serious. Which got me down a little bit, because I thought, this is not what I want. This is crazy, it's awful. So on the night time, we were there, for the second night it was, and we sort of hardly spoke all day. So on the night time, I just looked at her and I just said, okay, tomorrow we go back to party, yeah? Why, why, why we go back to practice? It's because I'm not enjoying myself when you're not enjoying yourself. So at that minute, I just got up and I walked out and I went and visited a few bars on my own. The girl was okay because she was, her mother was there with the rest of the group and it was just me. I was unhappy with what was going on in the situation and I just went to various other bars, met other people, had a few beers and, and then come back to the room and obviously it's frosted, frosted look from her. We never spoke again from that night till the, the following day when we went all the way back to Pattaya. And back to the debriefing room, 
my friend asked me what was gone gone on and trying to find out why I was upset and she was upset and when it all turned out she just split up from her Dutch boyfriend he'd binned her she was a beautiful girl as well but he binned her she was upset so her mind wasn't in the right place and obviously the salary that he used to send over to her had stopped so she was upset that one she'd lost the salary and, and two she'd lost a boyfriend that she thought a lot of so her head was in the wrong place and because I was going through a divorce, my head was in the wrong place. It was a bad mix and it was a wrong mix. So my suggestion is from this learning curve from this is don't pick a girl for one night thinking you can have three or four nights together in a romantic location and shut the course of Met or course of where we are, wherever you're going to take them. Because most people do. Pat is too much for two weeks or three weeks. Once you've got your girl that you like, it's nice to go out to the island. Koh Samet, Koh Chang are only three and four hours, well, four hours away from, from Pattier's Koh Chang, another beautiful island. But Koh Samet is about an hour and a half, two hours away. So it's nice, it's a romantic island. If you find the right girl that you're gonna, it, it's heaven, it really is. You just think you're in heaven because everything clicks. So, this was my third video of our holiday to Ko Samet. Please learn the lesson from this. Learn from other people's mistakes. Watch plenty of other YouTubers who were talking about Thailand because experience will save you a lot of less heartache because you'll learn from their mistakes. So there's one more video to go. Our return trip to Pattaya before we came back to England. So, if you enjoyed the videos, thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the videos, thumb down. Please subscribe if you'd like. And until the next video, bye for now.